ASEAN integration upon us, the government is all set to push out proudly Philippine-made products. But the ADB says it has a ways to go to make sure smaller players don't get left behind. Web Natividad reports. It's been nearly five months since the ASEAN Economic Community, or AEC, was launched December 31, 2015, and the 10-member ASEAN officially became a single market. But still, the question whether the Philippines is prepared for ASEAN integration remains unanswered. Analyzing the export competitiveness of our products, the Philippines has remained strong in classic products such as food, electronics, and garments, which are already integrated in the global value chains of multinational companies. For these industries, the main challenge is how to upgrade or move up the value chain. The DTI says local industries such as auto parts, shipbuilding, aerospace, and chemicals are rapidly emerging in the ASEAN. But high-value crops like coffee and cacao are falling in the competitiveness scale. While small and medium-scale firms account for 99.6% of total establishments in the country and generate almost 65% of employment, their ability to compete with their ASEAN peers is in doubt. DTI data shows only a few SMEs have gotten a piece of the AEC pie. Only 22% are FTA users. The ASEAN is the most frequently used FTA followed by the ASEAN China. The responses given are lack of knowledge, lack of information on how to use FTAs, too small trade volume, and difficulties in getting the certificate of origin as well as in fulfilling the requirements for the rules of origin. The untapped potential of the SME sector represents a lost opportunity for Philippine trade. Philippines, your SMEs account for 20% of your direct exports. So SMEs can, over time, increase their role in trade. And they would do this by becoming suppliers to trading companies, be it in services or in manufacturing. And this can occur in the manufacturing sector, in the auto parts sector is one option, electronics is another, food processing is yet another, and also in services of different kinds. SMEs could plug in international trade, a gap left by China after it recalibrated its economy to focus less on manufacturing. The People's Republic of China begins to slow down and move out of the labor-intensive industries. There's a lot of opportunity for countries like the Philippines, like Malaysia, like Thailand, to get into a range of products from, from electronics to clothing to auto and so on. But government also had to address a critical component for SME development infrastructure. Until the necessary ports and roads get built, SME participation in the AEC is far from concrete. Beverly Natividad, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.